Uh, you like that wallpaper? Mine's just not bleeding. Ah, f***ing hell. Oh, dear God, 44%? Hallelujah! Hey guys, the Tech Otaku here, and today's video we're gonna be trying to fix the inaccessible boot device error on the Lenovo netbook that I have lost for a year now. This is a Lenovo S10 3 something like that. Yeah, it has an Atom N470, one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM, and 500 gig hard drive, and yeah, it does have. Windows 7 started formally. It's running Windows 8 Pro with Media Center and Windows 10 Build 10 130. That's a one year old install, so yeah. Windows 10 Build 10 130 is already old. There's anniversary update for now. Anyways, I'm gonna try to fix it and yeah. First, I'm gonna hibernate my laptop first because I have only one power plug and this netbook's AC adapter is broken. So now it's kept into the chunk box here. All right, let's go. Now it's hibernated. You can see, I'll put that and plug it into the netbook. Oh no! Oh dear. Whoa. Whoa, okay. I'm gonna plug it in. It should work on this netbook, seriously. And I'm gonna try to open it up. Alright, I changed the spot, so I'm gonna try to hit F8. And we will see what happened here. Let's see. And the hard drive activity is gone for now. Why is this not booting? There we go. Inaccessible boot device. Really? After a year of this netbook taken away, and now I got this error? Really? Alright, I'm gonna try to get to the BIOS and change the BIOS state to before Windows 10 build 10 130 expires. Oh, and it's already 9 4 2015. And that was before Windows 10. TH1 builds expired. So actually today is December 3rd, 2016. So let's go ahead and reboot to Windows 10 Build 10 and show you that this is the exact same error in accessible boot device, of course. Alright, here we go, Windows 10. Uh, okay. Now time to disable automatic restart system failure. Let's just hit 9. Yup, exact same error. Inaccessible boot device. RIP. So what I'm gonna do is to download Windows 10 Media Creation Tool and then boot it up to the flash drive and yeah. Let's go. Alright, I'm gonna enter my password here. Alright, there we go. Oh wow. 3.81 gigs. Oh my god, it, it actually went RIP. <laughs> my install is going RIP soon. So, yes, I moved on to the Compact Pissarro V3000 laptop. It does have an Intel Pentium T2080 dual core processor clock at 1.73 GHz, 1.5 GB RAM, 320 GB hard drive, and of course, it does have Windows 10 build 4393, which is the anniversary update. So, time to plug it in and get to the BIOS. And it powers on by itself when I plug it in because there's no CMOS battery or dead CMOS battery. So, yeah, so what the time it is. So. It is 11.23 It is December 3rd, 2016 And this laptop is working fine It does good things just fine So I might try to pull my hard drive out of this compact And put it onto the Lenovo Nevo See if, if it does give me the same inaccessible device error or not. Good up time is taking quite a while right now to boot. At least because there is no fast startup, I guess. So yeah, I have an update to Windows Insider Builds to Lace Insider Builds for quite months now. Oh wait, getting Windows ready. So I installed updates yesterday. Seriously. <gasps> oh what the system up awesome. Oh 70. Crap. Alright, we're in and how do you like that wallpaper? It's May Misaki wallpaper, so yay. You know. Alright, I'm gonna type my password off camera. 
and I hope my Lenovo netbook is going to work. But I'm glad that this compact laptop can boot Windows just fine, and my Asus laptop can boot just fine, but why not Lenovo netbook? Oh wait. Huh, I like that shelter wallpaper. That sounds lovely. And the uh, icons are taking a while to load. Oh dear. But anyway, go place! Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. Yep, got it. So I have my 4GB flash drive here, so let's try to see if this will work. Plug it in and. Ah, f***ing hell, my AVN mouse is so dead. By the way, this is my AVN Gaming Freight 2 mouse that I used before. Oh, and that's my Windows 7 Professional Installation Media. Oh dear god, I don't want to touch this phone again. Yeah, I'm going to pull now. I have a cold bar here. I'm serious. I'm going to open up the creation tool. Oh yeah, 4393. That's the anniversary of the build. Open it up and... We'll have a new USC, which is really nice. I really love that. Oh, I will have Windows. Alright, it's getting few things ready. That's it. Come on! Alright. Create installation media for another PC. I want to fix a Lenovo network, so this is the recommended option for this PC. So I'm gonna go with 32 bit. Yes, we flash drive. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll be right back. Two hours later. Oh dear God, 44 ah! percent. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new one. Oh yeah, your USB flash drive is ready. Set up screen up before it closes. Why? So I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down, and yeah, let's move on to the Lenovo netbook. Meanwhile, time for me to do this. Got my Windows 10 media in here, and plug it in. Come on, change the BIOS date back to 2000 and something. 2000. 2016, and it's December. Yep, it is December 3rd. But first of all, I'm gonna try to enable compatible. Let's see what happens. Does it boot? We will see about that. A while, <gasps> holy sh! Right, come on. Why is my screen looks like this? Dang it! There we go. Ooh, that's a sweet little wallpaper. Oh yeah, I have the wallpaper download at the link in the description here. Wait, why? Why is this not connected to Wi-Fi? What do you mean? Wait, is this 2015? What? That's hacks! Oh my god! Oh, wait a second. I gotta boot to Windows 10 build 10 130 partition first. Windows is not activated. <sighs> I guess I have to reactivate that later on. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and back all these stuffs up from Windows 10 build 10 130 partition and install Windows 10 anniversary update. BRB in the next segment. Woohoo! Restart. I'm gonna spam F2 to get to the BIOS and change the BIOS state to before. I think it's July 3rd, 7th. No, 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 not June 7. Is it time? What? Damn it. It is December 3rd, 2016. It says 2015 for no reason. Yeah, I think it's time to change back to July. Just in case. Let's see, save changes. If I try to exit and save changes, it will be. Check, look at this. Oh! Never mind. Windows 10, please. Uh oh. Repairing automatic repair? Are you serious? <laughs> Diagnosing your PC? Really? <gasps> oh dear. If I change the SATA compatibility to compatible, it should work. If I try to set the SATA compatibility to HCI, inaccessible boot device will happen. I installed Windows on the IDE mode, I'm pretty sure about that. If I remember right. Your PC did not start correctly. Please! Alright, let's try to boot back to Windows 10 build 10 130. That's my old install. So I have built 14393 install on here. Oh, there we go. Let's hope that this is going to work! 
cross my fingers. Meanwhile, oh god, that's a boy. Okay, that's not videos. Oh, I remember this login screen. Hallelujah! And isn't that no soundcheck? This is one of a hell of a stupidly easy way to fix it. Oh, no, not Oh yeah, I have Ubuntu cursor here. For an obvious reason. It is build 4393. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna pack all my photos and stuff and get back to you. It's going to take a while. Hopefully, it's going wonderfully. Gonna first of all, uninstall some programs that I don't need to save some space and install Windows 10 anniversary update so I figure out why the heck not. <laughs> oh damn, I have some fanfiction here. That, that, and that. Seriously. Alright, now let's move on to the documents folder. Woo! Heck yeah! Nah. Programs. Nah. Right, there we go. Now it's time to say goodbye to the Office 2016 preview. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and uninstall Camtasia Studio 7 because I don't think that I need to do closing about bosses style videos. So yeah, it sucks nowadays. But I'm gonna go ahead and get it back up and running. Oh, yeah. Wait, almost stall. Hi, Desu. Uninstalling. Oh, I get a lot of space! Hi, I'm gonna uninstall Contagious Studio 6. Please wait until the current program is finished uninstalling or being changed. Seriously? Meanwhile, here we go. Q, 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 Q. It's all. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and take a shower. I haven't taken a shower for quite a while. So, yeah, I'll be right back. A few moments later. <laughs> The charging LED is acting funky. The battery is closed for now, and so far, 48% complete. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna try to reinstall from scratch. So yeah. Eventually, I'm back from the shower, and it says your PC will restart in few moments. Woohoo! We're in progress. Why is this taking so long? So I'm gonna do some math. Never mind. <laughs> oh dear. No hard drive activity now. Holy crap. Let's try to change the bio state back to December 3rd, 2016. And let's see if it does boot. I'm gonna stay away from now on and let's try to see if it boots. Oh god, I'm scared. Ho ho ho! Oh, please! Come on, hurry up! 28%! Woohoo! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Come on, keep me alive! Well, we reached 30%. I'm gonna stay away for now and. Let's see if it does boot screen. Well, the boot screen does free for a while. And we will see if it does boot. Oh, there we go! Woohoo! Finally! Working on updates 30%. Three hours later. Heck yeah, it's finally done. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is to wait until it goes to the desktop and yeah, get it this thing up and running. So yeah, that's all for this video and hope you guys enjoy and yeah, peace.